Hello friends, let's learn about basic SAP business objects universe design. This is the unit one of our course. So in this video, we will learn about the what is universe, what are different terminal terminologies that are being used with the information uh, information design tool, and various concepts uh, related to the universes. So the first lesson is describing universe. So Universe is an organized collection of metadata objects that enable business users to analyze and report on corporate data in a non-technical language. So, universe is a concept like means it will have it will be having a metadata objects, and that will be in a more business friendly uh, terminologies that can be uh, easily understand understandable to the users. So these are objects uh, includes dimensions, measures, attributes, and navigation path. So dimensions includes a general uh, name, uh, first name, last name like that. Uh, then measures will be a numerical values, maybe a salary or sales revenue like that. Attributes will be a detail level of uh, dimensions. Uh, suppose we have address, then we may have a phone number. So that will be the attribute for the dimensions. Uh, navigation path will be considered for the drilling of the reports. So we can build the navigation paths at universe level. So metadata objects layer, which is uh, again called as business layer. So it is built on a relational database schema or OLAP cube so that the objects map directly to the database structures. So it, it, it maps via SQL or MDX uh, expression that is nothing but multidimensional experience expressions. And then coming to the role of the universe, what is the role of the universe is to provide the business user with the semantically understandable business objects. Okay, so this is the role of the universe. And how now universe and SAP business objects applications are uh, related means when we are building a universe with the information design tool that is IDT, we can use this universes in a different applications. So these applications can access this universe. So these are applications SAP BO Web Intelligence, a reporting tool for uh, web intelligence, uh, Crystal Reports for Enterprise, then BO Explorer BEX, BO Dashboard Design can also access universes, then BO Design Studio, and finally Lumira to build a storyboard or visualizations. So what IDT provides? So what is the functionality information design tool provides? So it, it provides, it provides uh, con uh, connections to the data sources. You can extract a complete OLAP cube schema, extract tables and joins to build a relational schema called data foundation. Then we can create metadata objects from cube or a data foundation organized in a business layer. You can share resources to allow multiple designers to work concurrently. Then we can publish these uh, resources like business layer or data foundation or connections to the local or uh, repository. Then create security profiles. So security profiles are related to the user access and all those things which are uh, more of um, depending upon the business uh, requirements. So these are the various terminology that uh, we need to consider while uh, developing the universe in IDT. So first is project, then connection, which is a local connection to that particular uh, uh, project. Connection shortcut will be a, sh a secure connection which can be published to the repository. Data foundation will be the layout of the database tables with their joins and relations uh, uh, with, the, with their different different uh, relationships then business layer will be a business friendly objects which are based upon the data foundation uh, layer query so we can query the data uh, business objects based on the business uh, requirement and we can view the results parameters and list of values so parameters and list of values can have the uh, different input parameters or list of values which can be associated with the business objects. Then universe. So universe is a complete compilation of all these objects coming from uh, uh, project connection, data foundation, business layer, query, 
parameters and all those things and lastly with security profiles will be uh, profiles uh, which are depending upon the user access rights that that are needed to create while uh, deploying the universes so let's understand what is the universe design process means how we can uh, design the universe uh, and what is it uh, uh, the development cycle so universe design is a cyclical process that includes planning designing building distribution and maintenance phases so if you see this is a, these are the different different steps or phases we can say which are required to develop a universe so preparation analysis planning implementation testing deployment updating and maintenance so first two steps which are more important preparation and analysis and then planning so these three steps are very important from the uh, universe de uh, development point of perspective because sap recommends that 80% of time should be spent on these three phases to prepare prepare analyze and plan uh, planning the universe uh, design then implementation and testing we can say 20% of means if we have very good planning then we can uh, develop our universes or implement our universes is to be more product, product, productive okay so preparation is uh, where we need to identify the universe scope we need to build the project team adopt the standards uh, based on the uh, organization means if there are anything means it uh, it can be a universe uh, names connections what put the connections there are different joints strategy strategy that all this and we need to conduct the meeting for that in the preparation then analysis phase how like identifying the candidate objects uh, we need to identify relational or versus multi dimensional modeling so this is again a business analysis can suggest means whether we need to uh, use relational or multi dimensional modeling uh, structure planning will have the creating a project plan so we need to set each and every task based on our planning so a project plan is very much needed means while developing the universe so we we should have fixed tasks with their uh, timelines so that it will uh, be useful uh, to deliver the pro uh, universe design uh, successfully and also we need to plan the bio architecture so it, it is nothing but different different components involved in this uh, universe design and all those things what are the key stakeholders uh, there we we need to identify then implementation so the fourth step implementation is actual development of the uh, report so it it may consist of two phases phase 1 as schema design and phase 2 as building the universe so schema design will have this uh, all these schemas related to the um, database whether it is a relational uh, database or olap uh, uh, olap uh, cubes so we need to need to identify these uh, schemas and then building the universe so it is it is the actual development of the universe where we need to bring the, all the tables which are required for the uh, uh, business to build the universe and we we need to identify the join strategy and uh, join uh, the uh, tables based on the strategy defined in the requirement document so again then testing with the quality assurance so it it, it is the phase where we need to identify the data data verification whether the universe which has been developed has the right joints it is giving the accurate results means as per the um, business need we need to identify whether it is ha has any uh, data discrepancies like that and then deployment so uh, deployment is again means we need to deploy it to the product first to the development then uh, means uh, to the um, means we can say quality environment Uh, then we can finally build uh, deploy it to the production so for this we need to get the users access create the user access profiles then we need to conduct the tra trainings for the users to train them means how how we can use this then updating maintenance so this is the universe maintenance where if there is any modi modification comes in later means after deployment to the production so we need to identify and we need to make the changes as per the requirement So this is all about the development cycle uh, related to the universe design process. Coming to the lesson two, uh, how we can define the components of universe. 
so when when we are creating a universe we need to identify these are the components projects local projects and populate projects with the resources so projects is the nothing but a name local workspace that contains the resources used to build one or more resources so project may contain connections business layer data foundation the navigation path uh, uh, parameters so these all components will uh, be under projects the local project uh, will be a first project which we need to create in a local uh, in information design tool so before uh, publishing to the repository or to uh, local system then we need to create the project first in a idt and then we can build the different uh, components there so populate project with the resources so this is the uh, step where we need to create the resources so resources nothing but creating a connection whether it is a relational or olap uh, connection then um, creating a data foundation creating a business layer with the new uh, menu uh, they are available i will be showing this in practically convert dot env universes that was created with the udt that is universe design tool or earlier version and retrieve published uh, universes so retrieving published universes means whether there is any uh, universe which is already published there uh, on the repository then we can uh, retrieve it to our local system and then we can uh, modify that universe on our system and then we can republish to the in uh, repository so what are the operations allowed on local resources when we are creating a local resources that is creating a project then means what all operations so we can create a share project to share with the other designers we can share our project we can check the integrity of data foundations and business layers so information design tool provides inbuilt or features to check this integrity for the data foundation and business layers we can publish a business layer as a universe to the local file system or a repository then publish a connections to a repository we can show dependent universe uh, resources we can save a resource as a, a report okay so this is all about this unit we we understood all these things so let's uh, check our understanding what is universe and what are the universe design process uh, steps and its correct order so universe is nothing but it relates the objects for a business area such as finance human resources to the data of our organization store in the databases so it is a semantic layer between a database and a reports we can say so it is a building a business layer which is more understandable to the business users and it is in a non technical language so the universe design process have these steps preparation analysis planning implementation testing and deployment okay so this is all about this unit i hope you have understood this uh, basic concepts about universe design process if you have any questions then please put it in a comment section if you like my video then please like it if please subscribe to my uh, channel as well so that you will get to know about my next uh, unit video thank you for watching